guys, Luke here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a redstone chest trap. So for this, um, redstone invention, you're going to need redstone torches, a redstone repeater, red, well, obviously redstone, a redstone comparator, the way I do it anyway, a sticky piston, and some sort of building block of your choice. And you'll and you'll need a trap chest, which obviously will set off the trap and trigger, um, well, everything. So what you need to do is place a redstone comparator directly behind the trap chest. And, uh, camera in, can you close this chest? Uh, who's opening the chest? But probably Kieran. Well, tell him to stop. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I had a little bit of a goof up. It turns out that do not take the redstone comparator and place it directly behind the chest. I um, kind of messed that part up, sadly. Um, so what you do need to do, however, is put a redstone repeater next to the redstone signal so it boosts your signal. And um, it's powerful enough to get ready for what we're doing. And... So before all that, I probably should did this first, you're going to have a redstone torch powering a bunch of pistons here. Now the pistons will be activated, so um, they'll be pushing the blocks out. Oh. Um. Okay, wait. Guys, I'll be back in a little bit. I need to set something up here. Um, nope, not yet, actually. Where is the lava? There we go. You know we're rolling. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Um, sorry, I had another goof up. I am really goofing up this episode. Um, you obviously want some sort of trap down into the abyss where it'll kill them, or some sort of lava like this down there, so where they fall, whoever tried to open your chest will die, unless for some reason they'd be a person who gets right up on the chest when they open it. And so there's that. And you're gonna ha want these sticky pistons back here, cameraman over here, you're gonna want these pistons back here powered by a redstone torch. That's not redstone dust. Powered by a redstone torch. Why do you do this to me, torch? Powered by a redstone torch to where they're all activated and pushing out. Is that seriously how this is going to Put the redstone on top of that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, but it won't go on. Okay, wait. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll do, I'll do it this way then. Okay, we're good now, Caleb. Caleb, are you gonna count down? So, are you still rolling, aren't you? I'm still rolling. Just go. I'm gonna edit this out. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I fixed it now. I had another goof up. It turns out that whenever a piston's activated, you can't place redstone on it. And if there is redstone on it, and you deactivate it, all the redstone falls off. So you're gonna want the redstone going around the piston, so where they still activate, and this is pushed in. And you're gonna want to do that on both sides, to so where there's, um, sticky pistons on both sides, pushing out. Pulse. True. Pulse? Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I made it a little bit neater and got the sticky pistons set up on both sides. So remember that you're going to want um, both your pistons activated. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, sorry about that little active thing, but um, I did that because I just saw somebody fly into the lava and um, in there, so I kind of got sidetracked by that. But you see, this is how you'll set it up, and um, the redstone here, I haven't forgotten about it, is going to be depowering um, these redstone torches here. So it'll lead from here to here and depower both of these redstone torches. And I'll show you an example soon. Um, I'm probably going to turn into survival to show you that it will actually... 
Close the chest. Close it. Hey, close it. Stop it! Cameraman. Cameraman. Stop. I hope you leave it on the video. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn to survival real quick so I can show you what I mean. So, um, any ordinary person. Any ordinary <laughs> person will be running in, and hopefully you won't stand right here up against your chest, because that's not how I have it set up. But hopefully it'll be you're like right here. That's nice you can see that pretty dang easily. Um, be right back. Actually, I'm gonna make it to where. No, actually, I won't be right back. I'll do this so um y'all can see that that um it'll be hidden actually. So let me turn back to creative and see if I can't make this actually hidden. Or maybe if I place it right there, what? Well, that won't work, will it? Why won't be able to see it then? That won't work. Huh. Oh wait, it does work! It just needs a repeater. Thank you, cameraman, you did good by opening it. Open it. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So, um, yeah, I'm good now, and you actually can make it completely hidden, like this, to where you have no idea that this would be trapped. Now, imagine this in your base, um, surrounded by all this, and like a secret, uh, supposedly secret, um, corridor, um, where your friends, that your friends might find and might be trying to take all your treasure, but you're just tricking them and they actually won't get you. So Okay. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm gonna set my game mode to survival so you can see what would happen if you were to actually be in while well, your friend actually activated the chat. So they would be running down this corridor and open up the chest and then immediately fall into the lava trap and die. As you saw. So, oh, wait. Uh, cameraman, I kind of need you to teleport here. Cameraman. Thank you. And real quick, guys, I'm going to set it up to... Cameraman, what did you do? I have cameraman. Anyway. Real quick guys, I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna set it up to where you'll actually die even if you stand right up to the chest since, um, I can. I just realized I could do that. So you'll do this and then you'll just place, um, two more pistons right here, right next to the first pistons, to that'll activate, hopefully as soon as you place them down, they will. And so, don't, don't do that. And so, even if you stand right up against his chest and open it... Oh! What? Am I flying? No, I'm not flying. Okay, so apparently if you stand right up against his chest, it won't work, but if you stand right here and open it, it will... ...drop and kill you. Cameraman. Thank you. Um... I think the cameraman should test this out. Nope, nope, go back to survival you. Try it out so the viewers would see what it would be like if they were to trigger it. Oh, oh hey dude. Hey, um, don't open that chest in there. I have some really good stuff in there and I don't want you to um, take it. Okay, I, I won't. I will not do that. Okay. What the what? What the? No, 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 no! <laughs> really? Okay, guys, so there we go, and that is how you make a trap chest trap. And, spectator, please stop opening the trap door trying to get me in there. I probably will fall in by the end of this, though. But, yeah, that's how you do it, and. <laughs> you're fine, because I think so.